All right, guys, where do we even begin? We have a lot of updates, a lot of stuff going on with the bus right now. And uh, today is gonna be kind of the ultimate update video. So let's just get right into it with what changed, where we're at over the winter, what's going to be happening, and uh, we'll go from there. So, we got the new compressor. We got the sandblast cabinet, which has been absolutely huge. Um, you know, a lot of the parts on the bus actually aren't in the worst of shape and really just need to be coated. So, ultimately, the investment of the blast cabinet and uh, powder coating um, equipment is going to save us a lot of uh, just ordering parts and kind of being able to keep things uniform and really just reusing as much of what's there for parts as possible. So we already kind of jumped into a lot of it and I've made this video a bunch of times starting with these updates and things kind of keep happening. So we're at the point where a little bit of everything has been happening and uh, now we're here. So we have a couple parts here. Started with some of the tins. So you can see we have like the main front and rear tin of the motor pretty much sandblasted. They need to be cleaned up. They've been sitting for a few days. We have some of the rear uh, ducting tins, if you will, already powder coated and the trans bracket as well is all set and ready to go. Uh, we actually even took care of the valve covers. I just threw them back on there because uh, we want to try and protect what's obviously underneath since the rest of the motor is basically still here. So at this point, what we want to do is tear down the motor is far as possible basically without getting into the engine too much so all the accessories are are most likely going to be coming off all the tins are definitely coming off the intake the exhaust um, is all being removed everything under the valve covers basically the heads uh jugs push tubes and all that um we're gonna leave that on there the motor was running fine and i really don't have too much experience with working on that stuff I really just want to, again, keep this rebuild more as like a uh, clean and uh, refresh uh, as far as seals go and get it back in the bus. Um, I think maybe uh, the following winter there might be a uh, an engine build uh, making it larger or uh, at least rebuilding it at that point. But for this year, we want to reuse this as cheaply as possible. Uh, since again, we already know it runs and seem to run pretty okay. So um, as you can see, most of the stuff is still on here. We just have that main tin off the back and those couple of ducting uh, tins there as well. But I just started pulling off the, the bolts for the exhaust. The ones underneath are definitely a little trickier. So we'll be working on that today. I'd like to get uh, really most of this stripped down today. And uh, so I can start to throw some of this stuff into powder coating. So that's where we're at with the motor. Uh, stay tuned, we'll uh, show you a lot of that today. But in other updates here, we have the lower front nose that came in all the way from Classic Fab. So that'll really help with the repair. We also have um, the lower outer, I believe it's called a valence, uh, that sits just under the nose with the cutouts for the bumper. Uh, that is coming in as well as the inner piece of that that actually welds right to the frame and the front floor which is huge obviously I spent a lot of time so far just cleaning out the old floor that was one of the major rust areas um, on the bus of course there are other uh, some other major areas as well but um, from a drivability standpoint that needed to be fixed I mean the you know accelerator pedal w wasn't even properly properly attached so anyways um as you can take a look the other thing that we've been working on we have slowly collected a set of um 15 inch smoothie wheels so uh right in here we have one going in the cabinet there's kind of some powder all over it but um these are basically going to get all um sandblasted and powder coated as well that'll take a little bit more time and uh, i probably won't show too much of the sandblasting just because it is uh consuming and um there's so much of it i don't really know 
what to show and what not to show and so really as far as like the sandblasting and powder and coating goes i'll try and just maybe show some bits and pieces because it's just so repetitive um, maybe if we have some unique parts or a big batch of parts going in you'll see some updates there so um, we got the engine seals coming in. I'd really like to get the engine uh, prepped and ready basically to go back in the bus within the next week. So again, a lot of stuff happening. Really kind of a major thing. All this stuff has been in the works over the winter. It's really not until a few weeks ago a lot of it was able to be um, put in here and, and whatnot. So um, hang tight. I'm going to get you set up. We're going to get most of this motor uh, tear down today is the goal. And... Uh, Hope you enjoy. Well, I guess the first things first, I need a little bit of space to put some of these parts. It's been getting a little out of hand, so I'm sure most of your workbenches look like this too. Don't act like it hasn't happened. Let's get this uh, cleaned up a little bit. It's not perfect, but uh, get a little more space than before. So, turn you guys over and we'll uh, get most of this motor pulled down. So, uh, I've seen some videos, but uh, it's been a while and I don't really know where to start. So, I guess we'll just. Uh, I already have some pictures of everything just to see if I can't get it back in reasonably okay I think for now we're just gonna try and pull everything off
Check it out. Now I said this, I, or at least I thought I said this in a previous post, uh, but someone commented it as well. It's a uh, 1600 dual port and uh, based on the, uh, the letter code up here and the numbers, it, um, I believe it's from a 71, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's why it's the, uh, the updated <clears throat> housing there with the oil cooler offset. Um, I believe they did that so that the, uh, heat from the oil cooler ends up getting exhausted. And then the continuing air that has not been heated up from the oil cooler continues on to hit the cylinder heads versus before it would interrupt that flow and warm the air up essentially. So cylinders three and four, um, just didn't simply didn't get as much cooling. So I got some of these bolts off over here. Um, might need a little, just a little bit.
Alrighty, so uh, back another day. Uh, battery kind of died on me and uh, we just kept going with the work. I really want to try and make a, a lot of progress within the next couple of weeks. So um, trying to film everything, but uh, at the end of the day, the goal is to get the bus going. And uh, so let me just update you real quick uh, to finish this video off, show you where I'm at and uh, what to kind of expect next. So um, at this point, the motor is basically torn down as far as I'm really willing to take it. Um, from here, uh, you know, I kind of blew it all down real well, but uh, it needs to be um, kind of cleaned up. Just, uh, you know, with like a lot, I got a big wire brush here to uh, hopefully try and just scuff the surface, clean off any uh, grime that I can and uh, whatnot. The uh, oil cooler will come off, but I'm not gonna do that until my uh, engine gasket kits here. That way I can actually um, just put the seals right back on, clean it up, seals on and throw it back on. I don't wanna get into that too much. Same with like the spark plugs and things. So anyway, so this is uh, what we're looking at. You can see the side is, um, it's, it's really not too bad. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, this side I already kind of hit it with that wire brush. It's certainly just a little bit cleaner and uh, underneath is not the prettiest uh, as usual, but we'll get that cleaned up. So um, nonetheless, that's where the motor's at. Uh, we got, again, all the tins off at this point and um, some of the, um, like the, I'm not sure the exact name, but basically where the, uh, where you're able to dump the oil in, got that pulled off fuel pump and uh, we'll get some of that cleaned up as well. Sandblasted a few more parts like the generator stand and uh, powder coated a couple things as well. Uh, you can see it's coming along. So that's gonna be it for this video and uh, definitely stay tuned. I'll have hopefully weekly updates at this point. Uh, we're gonna be working on this thing every day and, uh, and go from there. So stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy them and uh, we'll see you soon.